Secure from flight quarters. Good evening, gentlemen. This is the captain speaking. We have just completed the last deck cycle of this cruise and are headed 283 degrees true for Pier 12 at Norfolk Naval Base. The ship will dock tomorrow at 1300. You've had a tough time of it lately, but you've done a fine job. Well done to all hands. Going to sea is exciting for a man. It stimulates him. He looks forward to it. The excitement of going to far places and seeing new things and coping with unforeseen problems. It's a real challenge, but there's often a great deal of sacrifice that has to be made. It's made generally by those people that love him, particularly his wife. You know, you can get absolute answers in most relationships between mass and space and time. But when you inject a man into the equation, it becomes so complex that our fancy computers can no longer handle the problem. It takes a human mind to be able to deal with it. This relationship is so intimate that it is often difficult to distinguish the sailor from his ship and the ship from his sailor. It's his home, his workbench, his chapel, his office, his dining hall, and in some instances it becomes his tomb. I'd not seen those sailboats on the Severn River that year we went up to the World's Fair in New York. I'd probably be some other place far away from here today. It's a marvelous piece of machinery. 88,000 tons of steel and 5,000 men. Call engine stop. Call engine stop by, sir. They share a love that any good captain has, I guess, for his machinery, and I love to have him stand right beside me and uh, hold my hand like a babysitter. I don't believe I've ever got a bad piece of advice from one in all the years I've been dealing with him. Engines ahead, two-thirds.
Look at us now, steaming along into the bay. And though we may have been young at the start, I know we've grown a good bit in my heart. And now we're coming home, home from the sea. Home from the sea. Just on into the pier because we're coming home, home, home from the sea, home from the sea. Stern is still down the river a little bit. All right, don't let us show it up too far. Now watch it. All right. Stop on the quarter. Go ahead, uh, half speed on the bow. Half speed on the bow. Stop on the bow. Stop on the bow. Stop on the bow. Looking good all the way around, Captain Jimmy. Roger. Head easy on the bow. Head easy on the bow. Back one third. Move 75 feet off the camel. Roger. She's looking good, yeah. I wouldn't shove any more on that quarter yet. Stop on the quarter. Clear for me. Take it for target. Central Station, suitcase, all stop. Central one. Come ahead on the port bow.
flak on all starboard line. I say again, take in flak on all starboard line. You know, it's easy to stand up here in this crow's nest and give orders to the helm and the engines and to the pilots and expect it all to be done right on schedule. You have to learn that this crew is made up of 5,000 young people, all individuals, all with the same sorts of problems and troubles and feelings and thoughts that your own children have. Kids 19, 21 years old now become a man and handling some of the most expensive machinery in the world and the most complex system in the world and doing it precisely on time, on schedule with such precision, skill, and devotion. Just look at them wave they're waiting all along the shore They seem so far below Wish I could see, wish I could know Who is it there, standing so fair, waving hello It may be someone who's come to see me a lovely someone who's come to see me That's why I'm coming home Home from the sea Home from the sea Home from the sea Secure the special scene anchor detail <laughs>